So now let us install uh, certificates for both vBond and then vSmart. Okay, so before that, so we need to have a root certificate installed in both vBond and vSmart, right? So let us go and check if we have that here. You see that, so we didn't install manually the root certificate on vSmart and as well as vBond. Right. So how does these two devices receive? Because once we add the vBond and vSmart in vManage, if you look at, I mean, if you remember as a part of our settings and then the controller certificate configuration, so we have selected the enterprise root certificate and we have uploaded the certificate into the vManage, right? So that see, it will push the root CA to all the controllers. Okay, so that is the reason we are receiving the certificate, I mean the root CA in both vBond and then the vSmart. Okay, now we have also generated the CSRs. If you go and look into the certificates, controllers, okay, so you see CSR is generated for both vSmart and then the vBond. So let us take those CSRs and then sign with our enterprise root CA server. Okay. Let me just open up the enterprise root CA. Uh, let me just copy this. I'm using uh, uh, empty putty uh, our CA server is 159 here. Okay. Let me log into that. So basically it is the same process that we have followed for vManage. Okay, so I need to get your root CA new sets. Okay, unless we do, we have only vManage and uh, the CSR and vManage PEM. So let us create vBond CSR file okay and then copy the CSR from vbond here copy this and paste it here let us save it similarly let's do for vsmart as well vsmart dot csr let us copy the csr of vsmart okay now what we need to do is we just need to generate the uh, I mean we just need to sign the CSRs and get the certificate and install those certificates in respective devices okay so I just have uh, yeah let me just take this for vbond okay let us enter the passphrase Ah, sorry, my bad. Let me just run this again. Yes, yes. Okay, let us also generate for vSmart. Okay. Now what we can do is we can take those certificates for both of them, vbond.pem, open the file, take this certificate and install it in the vbond via vManage itself. So let's go here, install certificate, install. We can see the uh, the status of the installation process here by just clicking on this button here
now this is success so vbond is installed now let us go to certificates again go to controllers now let us install it for vsmart take the vsmart certificate Install the signed certificate for vSmart. Okay, it is successful. Now you go and verify under the certificates. You see the operation, I mean everything is installed, the certificate serial and you also see the uh, system IP for each and every device. Uh, basically it is uh, going to take some time for vSmart. Now we go to the main dashboard. Now you see the vBond is up. Okay, so vSmart is still down, right? So we can go and check why vSmart is still down. Is it not able to... Uh, contact uh, the vManage or what so what we can do is how do we verify the connections so we need to verify the control connections you can see show control connections you see it is trying to make to the vbond up so basically it formed a control connection to the vbond but it is not able to form control connection with vManage right so what is the error we can just check show control connections history uh, we don't see any control connections history here for a strange purpose let's see control connections we are just able to form this let us form with 9. Dot one. are we able to reach this 9.1.6.2 uh, looks like we have some uh, packet loss there uh, to reach that particular device why so show interface tab okay show IP route basically we will have two routes uh, let's just see show run VPN 0 sorry VPN yeah VPN 0 we have uh, 9.1.7.1 um, I think it took just some time no. so what we can do is I will just so basically I have two interfaces here um, what I can do is I can just move uh, the management interface to management VPN which is VPN 512 what I'll do is I'll just do no interface it zero will go to oh, sorry VPN five twelve interface it zero and then uh, basically if you look at um, it is not it's not trying tunnel interface it should have a color default color is the significance but let's see by adding this by moving this particular interface to um, VPN 512 okay so IP DHCP sorry IP DHCP client no shot and then I'll just commit maybe I'll lose connection because I'm just trying to move uh, that interface to another one so uh, let me try to reconnect here okay my connection is back let us see show control connections still I don't have anything here uh, we can verify from the vManage let me access vManage 
okay show control connections I'm seeing for VBond okay so vSmart is trying to access you can verify that you see the local error is decon fail I'm not able to reach or uh, the ports are not opened between those two devices okay so now what we can do is uh, let us try to ping 9.1.7.2 which is a vSmart IP we still have some packet loss here okay so instead of uh, let us also move eth0 here vpn512 and then interface eth0 ip dhcp client no shutdown and then commit okay so let me connect back now there should not be any packet loss I don't have any packet loss show control connections now with the vSmart it is up okay now let us go to the vSmart as well we can verify whether it formed control connection with vManage you can see it formed a control connection with the vManage right now let's go to the dashboard you can see one vSmart one vBond and one vManage okay so what we have done is basically the issue is it is not able to uh, I mean the vSmart is not able to reach vManage properly because it is able to I mean we are seeing some packet loss because of uh, dual interfaces as a part of uh, uh, single transport VPN and it is trying to send one packet out of one interface and another packet out of another interface so because of that packet loss we are not able to form the control connections properly it might not be the case with your pod uh, you can also do like put a static route directly to the vManage network so basically 9.1.7 you try to reach the particular interface I mean basically you create a next stop directly instead of a management so that it can also resolve the issue as well 